Golden text. Then Matthew chapter 23, verses 9 to 10. And call no man your father upon earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. You may recall that when the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ realized that John the Baptist taught his disciples to pray, they went to our Lord to teach them also. So he taught them to pray thus, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. St. Luke chapter 11 verse 2. What is it that is done in heaven? In heaven there is this wonderful unification of all the children of God with their Father. There is equality of all and so discrimination of and there is no discrimination of any sort. Therefore, you are not in any way authorized to cause any form of division in this kingdom established now on earth. Some Africans who are reincarnated from Britain, some from Russia and others from European countries, some who are whites now were blacks in their previous advent on earth. There is no difference between the whites and the blacks of the world. As the blacks are many in both East and West, so also are the whites in many African countries. You have to know that just as you are sitting down here, you are also elsewhere carrying out some divine assignment. Your physical body could appear in two different places at the same time doing different functions. You have no power of your Sometimes you go to a particular area and the way things go there are not suitable to you. You should, you would desire to leave such a place. You would not rest until you have been transferred from such a place to where you will live comfortably. In another instance, you may be sent to a place you love. In this case, you will not want to come back and would Never be happy if you are forced to leave. At times you find it difficult to attempt to adapt to a particular environment. This is so because the activities and behaviors of the people in such an environment are incompatible with yours. Do not call any person on earth father apart from the Holy Spirit. He is the one who is both in heaven and on earth. The heaven is his throne while the earth is his footstool. Do not call anybody Lord or King apart from Christ. He is the only Lord and King. We are all brethren and his children under one Lord and King. You may decide to appear as a male or female when you are transferred from this earth or from one part of the earth to another. The testimony of the birth of a baby by a virgin from Zaire revealed a child who was christened Rabbit Trinita without male and female organs. See Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. You can see that God himself is, is a man, and came in the form of a man. However, he is not of the earth, but he is a spiritual man, unlike ordinary human beings. God has all the organs of the body and can move about, talk or, or sleep, but he 
as a dual nature which is spiritual and physical it is because of his easily transformed nature that people mistake him for an ordinary human being although the human body and that of God are identical there is a remarkable difference in terms of power wisdom intelligence and other things but he that is from above speaks of heavenly things. See John 13, see John 3, verses 31 33. It says, He that cometh from above is above all, and he that is of the earth is earthy, and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all, and what he has seen and heard that he testified, and no man received his testimony. He that art received his testimony, art set to his seal that God is true. The mystery, of, the mystery of nature explained. You can therefore see that in everything there is that one Father and Creator. He is the doer of all things. Therefore. There is only one King and Lord. He is the King of the trees, of the fishes, of animals, of man, and every created thing. Christ is the King of all spirits and man. That is why he said that man should be created in his image in order to superintend over all creatures. There is no difference or barrier between the various creations of God anymore. Now, if you enter into the forest in the spirit, you may be transformed into an animal, but if you find yourself in water, you might be turned into a fish, water, forest, animal, fish, birds, angels, heaven, earth, and all planets are all in God. Whatever plane you visit spiritually, you reincarnate to its nature. This wisdom is imparted only by the Creator, the Father Himself. Do you know that even the rock is Christ and that the trees are Christ? It is stated that there is a particular tree found on earth, found on both sides of the river, which bears twelve manners of fruit. Each month a fruit is produced in the midst of the street of it and on either side of the river was there the tree of life which bear twelve manner of fruits and yielded a fruit every month and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nation that was in Revelation chapter 22 verse 2 I um, beloved brethren, your problem is that most of you are not serious. You merely come here to play. This wisdom is not possessed by the whites or the blacks. Why should man segregate because of religion? Man claim to be Christians. Others say they are Muslim. And yet others claim to be Hindus, Baha'is and so on. What are those others? What is the meaning of all these names? Were these names not given by man? What was the original name given to all the creatures after creation? Was it not oneness in love? There was no distinction or segregation at all. Our common name should be sister and brother you should re you should believe that love is god and god is christ love is the great holy spirit love is also truth there is nothing that can unite all human beings together apart from love it is also true love that man and god will be united if you lack love you are lost. In love, there is oneness. It is said that we are the salt of the earth. 
If the salt has lost its taste, how can it be salted again? It is no longer useful for anything but to cast out and be trodden by men. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its savour, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden on the foot of men. That was in Matthew chapter 5 verse 13. Brethren, when Adam and Eve were in the garden of Eden and were following the instructions of God and practicing love with all creation, they had no problem. However, when they disobeyed and departed from the path of love, they were thrown out of the garden. If God created you in his own image, then it means that you will never die, for God is immortal. What actually happens is reincarnation, a sort of transformation. Nothing has changed in the world since creation. The water, the sand, and other things you see are all God's creation. There are neither new nor old things in this world. Since creation, all things have remained the same. It is said that man reincarnates three times in his life. The question is, can you tell your exact nature in the spirit world or what you were in the other incarnation? At this moment, can you recall the same unwholesome things you used to utter in another life? Can you recollect what you did just 10 years ago? For instance, about five, out of, about 5 or 10 years ago, you were visiting the prostitutes, drinking alcohol excessively, and indulging in immoral acts. But now, these unwholesome things have become a thing of the past. Many people are gradually departing from their various sins daily without being aware of it. This is how we die and rise up daily. Any day you commit sin, you have died. But when you purify yourself and do good, you have resurrected from the dead some decades ago. We used to only have one Pentecostal center for the whole world, but today there are many Pentecostal centers and two decades ago we used to slaughter as many as 30 cows to make the feast for members during Pentecostal period, but today the reverse is the case. Right now, Brothers of the Cross and Star neither eat meat nor fish. And it is the same brotherhood of the cross and star of old that used to slaughter many cows. We are in the new age and the changeover is taking place daily. As such, fornication and adultery and witchcraft are something of the past. We are going to attempt to purify everybody. And until the exercise is completed, we cannot rest. Recall what our Lord Jesus Christ said. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall be, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. That was in John chapter 10 verse 16. So our task is to practice the biblical excerpt above. To make the whole world one is a task that must be done. God is the doer of all miracles and as such you should not give glory to yourself or any other person. God is the owner of all wealth, or all power, all wisdom and every other thing you witness on earth. Do not attribute success or failure of anything in the physical or spiritual world. Our duty is to praise glorify and give thanks to him alone. It is sheer foolishness to lay claim on anything in life. It is equally foolhardy to look down on the leaves, the grasses or other low creatures 
It is unwise to kill animals. You should bear in mind that they were created first before you. All the creatures of God are all from one stock. As such, we relate to each other and we drink water, breathe air and feed on vegetation. The worker is ignorant of this veritable fact. That is why those who call themselves Christians or Muslims are born again and so on are wasting their time because they do not know the real word of God. This is a fair comment on the adulteration of Christianity being perpetrated by the world today. The people who come from a mundane plane speak about mundane things and the person who is of God speaks of speaks and has accurate knowledge of God's words. It is only the children of God that hear the words of God. He that is of God heareth God's word. Ye therefore Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. That was in John chapter 8, verse 47. Those who cannot stop using drugs for their sickness are not responsible, because they are of the earth. Their belief is that once they take drugs, they are cured. And those who tell lies do so, because they came from the stock of lies, and falsehood do not look down on anyone or condemn anyone for committing sin because every person behaves according to the plane that he comes from. I, I decree now that no man should struggle over the ownership of land, of water, of human being or any other thing for all things in heaven and on earth belong to God. In Psalm chapter 24 in Psalm 24 verses 1 to 5 it says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein for he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place he that hath clean hands and the pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul into vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Brethren, God the Father owns you. In addition to the things you lay claim to, you are taught righteousness and and perfection in brought out of the cross and star because only the righteous one can be with God and receive his blessing those who are not defiled in the world's thoughts and actions are those who belong to him those who do not develop a money a mania for possession or position or mundane wealth are those who are qualified to be with him and serve him for eternity this set of people are those who enjoy the bountiful blessings of God do not bother yourself about what you see in the world today for Christ has said in a certain parable about a landlord who planted a vineyard and had a man to oversee the farm and went out to a far country expecting that at the harvest time he could send some of his servants to collect fruits from the caretaker when the messengers when the people in the vineyard beat one killed another and stoned yet another the subsequent messengers were equally treated in that crude manner at last the owner of the farm resolved to send his son in the hope that the caretaker would respect him as his heir. 
but on his arrival at the farm, the son was much was mistreated and subsequently killed. After narrating the parable, Christ then asked the audience what they could have done if they were in the man's shoes. They said the owner should come himself. This is what is happening in the world today. As such, do not raise an eyebrow if the unexpected happen whatsoever you behold or hear you should not be disturbed in your mind because anybody who destroys the world will surely perish be rest assured that the righteous people will inherit the world the people of the world are making fun of you for not eating meat or fish they say you are abnormal for refraining from fornication, drinking alcohol, and smoking tobacco, you are advised to maintain your peace and watch the event that will happen in the world. Those people who ignore God's injunction are destroyers of the earth. You are advised to hold fast to your faith in God because your rewards are better imagined than expressed. So, beloved brethren, we shall not take you further. A stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.